Oh my god guys, here we go again. I will be playing most of the cinematics and some gameplay, so I hope you enjoy the video. You may notice that the video is zoomed in, that's because I'm recording from my PlayStation, and there's a watermark, so in order to avoid that, I just zoomed in, so hopefully you don't mind that. Yeah, that's the reasoning. I assume we're going to get towards that point in the story. So far, I'm intrigued. It's because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They're what created the me that's here now. I'm never gonna let you cut that away. <laughs> then you must know what you need to do. A calamity has befallen the River of Time. An incident affecting the course of human history. That is to say, the erasure of history. A ninja world with no history is no ninja world. A ninja world with no history is devoid of humanity. The Book of Transcendence, which you composed long ago, now lies forgotten and unknown. History must be resurrected. Yet to accomplish this, we require a foundation whereupon its path will be retraced. Therefore, we shall weave this foundation together. We must once again set to paper the verses of this long-forgotten book. Let us begin. From here forth, history will be spun again. And so, we must grant him a central role. The circumstances of his birth were cruel. Within the land of fire, the being known as the Nine-Tailed Fox Spirit descended upon the Hidden Leaf Village and began a violent rampage. The fourth Hokage, leader of the village, sealed the wild spirit away into the body of Naruto Uzumaki, returning peace to the village for a time. With the spirit of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him as an infant, Naruto endured persecution from the villagers, and yet he thrived. Time passed, and Naruto grew into a young man with dreams of becoming Hokage himself one day. With his indomitable optimism, he soon found himself surrounded by close friends. Among them was a young man named Sasuke Uchiha of the Uchiha clan, and Sakura Haruno, a young lady who admired Sasuke. It was these two shinobi who were assigned to Team 7 alongside Naruto after their graduation from the Ninja Academy. Undertaking countless missions together, they became especially close. But before they could embark on such missions, their team captain, Kakashi Hatake, had them carry out an exercise in order to test their abilities. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Well, the time has come. Let the survival session begin. S 
the graphics look a little bit updated. I'm trying to get into the swing of things so far as controls and buttons, but obviously I haven't played since the last game, so I'm a bit rusty. I still know how to do combos, chakra cancels, I know that for a fact though. Obviously, with every match, I'm gonna try and do a secret technique as, you know, if they allow me to. Yeah, so during the end of the matches, I'm gonna just patently try and do that. Testing your individual skills. It was your teamwork I was looking at. Teamwork? In the ninja world, rules are important. It's true. But there's nothing worse than ninja who won't help their friends. And I think you three get that. Of course, I'll still need to train you a heck of a lot more. All right, the exercise is over. Team 7 starts its first mission tomorrow. Competing against Kakashi, these three young shinobi learned the potential power in teamwork. And so, Team 7 was officially formed. Despite holding different dreams and ambitions within their hearts, the three friends set off together on the true path of the ninja. And so began their journey on a path with no end. Official members of Team 7, the three of them undertook a mission to escort a dignitary to the land of waves. A bridge was under construction to connect the impoverished land of waves to the other nations. However, the work was frequently impeded by a group who did not look with favor upon the project. Team 7 made the decision to guard the bridge through its completion. It was then that two strange characters emerged and drew them into a fierce battle. This duo consisted of Zabuza Momochi, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, and Haku, a young disciple of Zabuza, who possessed considerable powers himself. Although Naruto felt a sense of ambivalence toward Haku, who he could see was being used as a mere tool by Zabuza, for the sake of his friends and his beliefs, he steeled his resolve and challenged Haku alongside Sasuke. Now that I'm here, everybody's gonna be fine! Okay, so I had no idea Haru was a girl this whole time. I'm watching an anime series and playing the games. I thought he was a girl. No, he obviously looks like one. Dang, now, I used to watch Naruto back when I was a kid. So basically, I was being exposed to a thin boy very early in my lifetime without even knowing. Now, because the narrator keeps saying he and him and all that stuff, so I was very confused. By man, he is precious to me. I live for him and face death for him. So his dream may become reality. I'll defeat anyone who interferes with Sabuza, no matter who it is. I won't let those important to me get hurt! I'm gonna win this no matter what! Uh, you're doing great! Fire I won't let you escape! No. Uh, 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 
take this. Fire style. Fireball jutsu. No escape. No escape. Muzu. Consciousness. In the midst of heated combat, Sasuke awakens Sharingan, a special visual jutsu only accessible to the Uchiha clan, turning the battle in their favor. Why? Why did you save me? I didn't ask you to! I don't know. My body just moved. There was no time to think, loser. Witnessing this tragedy, Naruto flew into a violent rage, awakening the power of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him and unleashing an attack that overcame Haku. What's happening? I'll never forgive you! for this kid. Sabuza. Sasuke were occupied with Haku. Kakashi was also locked in mortal combat with Zabuza. A faker like you could never beat me. For the land of waves and its future, I'll put an end to you. Your future holds only one thing, death. By the way, the random noises is my headset and I have no idea why it's doing that. I do need to buy a new one, so I am apologize for the random like headset movements. You, you know what I'm talking about. I like how they just dodge around like multiple times and without even hitting. It's kind of weird. This is actually one of my favorite matchups in the series, this fight right here. Now, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's very depressing near the end of the battle. Or this is a fight is one of the catalysts that shaped Naruto into the person he becomes later in life. I don't know. Isn't it when this is the first matchup when Kakashi uses the Sharingan, which isn't his, it's actually Obito's, but that hopefully that will be told later in the series. But yeah, I swear to God, a lot of people use Kakashi online because he is so broken with the Sidori. Jesus Christ. This is over. This is the end. This is the end. Lightning blade. Your ambition will create lots of sacrifices. That isn't something worthy of a ninja. Twin Lightning Shiver! As Kakashi lashed out with the finishing blow, Haku threw his body in between them, sacrificing his life to protect his master. When a person has something precious they want to protect, then they become genuinely strong. Haku walked his own ninja way until the very end. Just then, Gato, Zabuza's employer, arrived on the scene with a large band of outlaws. Having no further use for his two underlings, his plan was to murder them along with all of Team Seven. As a gesture of gratitude for the empathy that Naruto had displayed toward Haku, Zabuza expended the last of his remaining strength to slay Gato. at my side. The least I can do is be beside you at the end. I know it cannot be, but I wish I could go where you have gone.
As snow fell all around them like tears from heaven, Zabuza drew his final breath beside Haku's broken body. Watching these two shinobi live out their ninja way to the very end made a powerful impression on Naruto. The Chunin Exam, an event jointly coordinated by the Hidden Leaf, Hidden Sand, and other neighboring nations to bring their genin together to be tested. However, in truth, its primary purpose was to allow each nation to demonstrate its military strength in a small-scale mock war. The three friends, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, successfully applied the teamwork they had developed during their previous missions to pass the first and second tests. For their third test, they were matched individually against other ninja for the right to advance. Naruto was pitted against his ninja academy classmate, Kiba Inosuka. I'll never lose to the likes of you! Easier said than done. Let's see what you could do! Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. I'm going to break the videos into separate chapters and upload it that way. But yeah, if you like the content, leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully you enjoy the video. This is Prime Excellence. Peace. You, Hakage, keep dreaming. Never underestimate me. You too slow. What? Better than I thought. Too slow. Not finished yet. I'm not that easy to beat. Don't get too cocky. One day I'll be Hokage, so losing here is not an option! As the spectators watched the stunning upset unfold, they began to realize the extent of Naruto's ability. And so did Naruto. Preliminary matches came to a close. It was time for the finals to begin. Naruto was matched against Neji Hyuga, considered the mightiest genin of the Hidden Leaf. Neji had completely dominated Hinata Hyuga in the preliminaries. But after being ridiculed with the phrase, once a loser, always a loser, Naruto vowed to avenge the insult leveled against him and Hinata. I'm gonna win! Now, you'll learn the hard way that no one can alter fate. Over you can't ah! defeat me. It's not your destiny. Not losing to some coward who goes on about destiny or whatever! I look forward to your look of despair when you realize the truth. Over here! Over here! Take the gentle fist. Over here! Let's score it! You're too shabby! Over here! Over here! Not losing to you of all people! Not a chance! He may win Bob! He may win Bob! 
about nobody changing fate? What a bunch of garbage! Cause unlike me, you're no failure. It was Nezi who once said, one can't change destiny in reference to the fate of the Hyuga clan's branch house. But drawing inspiration from his fight with Naruto, he began to believe that he could, in fact, alter his destiny. 